I'm so excited. The nipples are very obvious through this, which is really frustrating. Wow, this feels really cheap quality, like not nice. I'm shocked. I actually love this so much. Guys, this is my face after looking at myself, after putting it on. Yeah, it's funny how some trends just don't suit fat girls. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's the truth and it's really sad. Um, but I don't really care what anyone says or thinks. I'm probably just gonna wear it like this because I like it. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am doing another haul video for you. And today I'm so, so excited because we are reviewing a brand that I've never seen anyone review in Australia before. Ah! I actually didn't even know that this brand did ship to Australia. I bought this with my own money today, but it doesn't affect my opinion, just so that you guys know. Um, and today we are reviewing I Saw It First. Yeah, this is an English brand, as far as I'm aware, um, and they look like they're similar to Misguided, um, Pretty Little Thing, things like that, but better from the website. I don't know how the plus size is gonna go. I'm pretty sure there was a plus size section on the site. It has been a week and a half since I ordered, or maybe even two weeks since I ordered. So I'm not 100% certain. I've also never bought from them before. So this is going to be a brand new review on the channel and I'm so stoked about it because sometimes you can get in a bit of a, I don't know, rut. Like you, I'm sure you guys are the same. You shop at the same stores because you know that you're not going to get disappointed uh, because you know that the quality's there or that it's going to fit you. And so I'm a bit nervous slash excited to be trying something different today and I hope you guys are too. Um, if you guys enjoy it, make sure you hit the thumbs up. It always supports my channel. And then also commenting down below your favorite pieces from today would also really support me. Um, and lastly, subscribing too, because it lets you know when I upload new content. And if you click that bell, it actually tells you in a notification. So we have a massive bag. I can't remember how much I spent. I know that I got a discount. Um, I think it was around $200 that we spent. Wow. I'm so excited. This one is called the Rib Strappy Bodysuit Mint Green. Uh, I got this in a size, doesn't say. That's interesting. UK 18, which is pretty much the same as Australian sizing. Um, okay, so this is a bodysuit. Looks really nice. I love the quality on that. Really nice, like it's thin but stretchy, but also nice quality. And there's no loose threads that I can see. The bodysuit looks nice and lengthy. I'm really loving this by the looks of things. Okay, so I've actually just put some cups under this, which is probably what you're gonna see, um, because the nipples are very obvious through this, which is really frustrating. Um, I think if you went a darker color, like a black or something, then your nipples wouldn't matter if they're out. But once I'm wearing a, a strap bra, strapless bra, it should be fine. I just prefer not to because of the whole back fat lines and stuff um, when I'm wearing things like this. But obviously with this one, I'm going to have to. But I'd already put it on and I couldn't be bothered to take it off to put one on. So I've just chucked some um, cups in there. But Apart from the see-throughness, which can be fixed with a different colour, I think it's actually really comfortable and well-fitting. I don't feel like it's like hurting my vagina because it's a body suit, so obviously you're wearing it down there. It doesn't have buttons to do up down the bottom, so you can't choose to not have it as a body suit. Like sometimes I just undo it and wear it as a singlet. You can't do that with this one. So just something to note, but let's try on the next thing. I actually think, okay, so this is a rib, square neck, long sleeve bodysuit. Again, another bodysuit. This one should be long sleeve, I think. Okay, that's really cute. Same sort of material. However, it is darker, so hopefully my nipples won't show through. It's got the long sleeve. And this one actually does have the um, poppers for down the bottom, which is strange that this one didn't. 
but this one does. So I'm interested to try it on. I'm just gonna pop it on with the jeans again. Okay, so this is the long sleeve bodysuit on. I don't like how this sits on me or feels as much as the other one. It is a little bit scratchier, the material, and it also just feels a little bit tight around here, like it's a little uncomfortable, and I feel like it's just not holding me in as well. I don't know, I'd love your guys' opinion on it, I just think it's not as flattering. I do really like this cut though, which is the reason I got it. Um, but yeah, I don't know, maybe with the right bottom, like with a skirt or something it might look cute. It's not sold. I'm not loving it. So I'm going to move on quickly because I just really don't love this one. So next up I'm going to try the Roll Neck Rib Knit Cropped Jumper. That's a word and a half. Wow, this feels really cheap quality. Like, not nice. Um, hopefully it looks good on, but it looks quite tiny. I really do like the look of it. But it is quite a thin knit, so I think it will be quite see-through underneath. Which is a shame. Real shame. Um, to go with that, I actually... I can bend over in these jeans. Um, I actually got these pants. Which is the... Check Skinny Trousers in Grey and size 18. Now these actually feel quite stretchy and nice actually. They look really cute. Do they have a lot of stretch? Oh yeah, they'll have enough. Hopefully that'll be my size. I will say it looks a little small for an 18. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm terrible at knowing. Um, but then it's got this gorgeous little check print, which looks really comfortable and I thought would be quite cute with the roll neck, kind of a casual chic work outfit so yeah let me check those on this is the next outfit and it's definitely see-through so i've popped in my little sturdy cups again <laughs> faithful not sturdy faithful cups uh the pants however i'm actually really liking them they do feel like they're about an inch too low on my crotch so maybe with a bit of wear and time they will stretch a little bit more but i feel like if i try and pull them up anymore they might rip um, so they are quite chic and cute. I think for work they would be ideal and with my nice big uh, like jacket they look really cute but I don't know it's just too crop the crop. It's almost like just peeping out there <laughs> and then like I said it's see-through so I think it needs to be worn by someone like two sizes smaller than me so it doesn't stretch so much but this was an 18. Like a UK 18, so it should have been well and truly big enough because I'm a 16. So yeah, pretty disappointed in that. The pants, however, fit well, but again, I ordered a size up. So, so far sizing on this, definitely size up. But yeah, not, not loving the quality so far, I saw it first. Hmm. Right, the next thing is a knitted belted dress. What size did I get it in? I feel like I sized up in one of them. This is a, doesn't say, perfect, <laughs> love that. Is it a large? Surely not. Oh, actually it's quite big. Oh, I might like this and the quality on that's really nice as well actually. Okay, I'm a little bit excited for this one. Let's pop it on. Okay guys, this is the dress on and I'm shocked. I actually love this so much. So you can wear it with the belt or you can have it undone and have it loose and even tie it at the back maybe to have it kind of like that. But I actually really love it. I might tie it off to the side so that it's a little bit cuter. But it's so cute. I really really like it. The colour is great. The, t um, the texture, the actual quality of the uh, material is really nice. Like it feels like it's been hand done and it's a nice soft material. It's definitely not like a scratchy knit, which I was concerned about. Don't worry about my boobs. I would normally wear a bra, but I couldn't be bothered to put it back on. <laughs> so yeah, I really like it. Once my boobs are up in place, I feel like it would be a lot more flattering but I'm really loving the quality and the length on it. I was worried it was gonna be quite short, 
but it's really not and it's lovely it looks really cozy I can't wait to like snuggle up it's got the high neck and it's nice thick rib it's actually double layer up here um, which is beautiful and so cozy and I'm gonna take this on my holiday next week because it's gonna be super cold where I'm going so Yay! Next up, I actually got another jumper dress in black. This is called the Balloon Sleeve Rib Knit Jumper Dress, and it's in the size large again. So hopefully, um, I think this one's in a large, so hopefully it's the same sort of thing. Oh, this again feels really nice quality. It does um, seem to be a little bit more, what's it called, body hugging, figure hugging. Um, and then again, like it said, it's got the balloon sleeve. Oh, I'm dying to put this on. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Guys, this is my face after looking at myself after putting it on. What is this? I freaking love it. Like with a belt? Stop. The sleeves make it everything. So it's got like a tight bit here and then it balloons off. I don't know if you're going to see it as well in camera, but it's just so divine. I would actually wear this out. It's, it is a little short at the back, but I think on like a night out, this would be so chic. Let me put a belt on with it. Okay, this is it with the belt on. How chic is it? I freaking love it, like so much. And it's a knit. And I can just wear it around the house if I want to, or I can wear it out. Like what? I'm dying for this. I'd love to hear your guys' opinion. Am I just going crazy over something that shouldn't be? Or is it amazing like I think it is? I don't know. I also don't know if this is even, and it's bothering me. <laughs> okay, next up. I couldn't resist a t-shirt. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm obsessed with t-shirts lately. And this one says 90s baby. I've seen it in a few different places, but I've never committed to the purchase. So I did. I committed. And it looks like a good size. It's actually really long. I love the pink logo on it. So cute. I think it'll look really chic with some jeans. So I'm going to chuck those jeans back on and we'll try it on. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Like seriously, it is quite long. Like if I pull it down, it comes down to about here. Maybe it's a t-shirt dress. Is it a t-shirt dress? It definitely could be. Maybe it is. Maybe I didn't read the, the thing right. But I actually quite like it because it means I can pull it up, maneuver it round. I could tuck it in the front of my jeans if I wanted to. I could even like do the whole little like tie up thing, you know, chic like that. <gasps> I love it and the quality is actually really good. I don't know how the see-throughness is on it. It might be showing my nipple right now. I don't know. <laughs> but I actually put my bra back on, so yay. <laughs> Adulting. <laughs> but I actually love it so much. It's really comfortable. And for the price that I paid, which I don't have the receipt right here, but obviously as per usual, I'll have everything linked down below and I will have likely put the price on the screen as we go along. Um, but I just freaking love it. So, so cute. Nanny's baby. Yeah. Right. Two more items left. Um, this first one is so cute. Okay. I don't know how good the quality is going to be, but it looked really chic online. They had a few different colors and I just decided to go this purple lilac because I thought, why not? Right. Um, it does seem a little bit thin, a bit much like the first knit jumper that we tried. This one is called the Button Front Cardigan in Lilac in a size um, large. So I don't think they went any bigger in this, uh, but my thought or reasoning behind it was that I could actually, instead of wearing it buttoned up, put a white singlet underneath and have it unbuttoned so it wouldn't matter too much. Now I don't have a white singlet on me. Oh, hold on. I have another bodysuit that we can pair it with. Not that it'll go amazingly well, but we'll try. I got the same um, thing as the first one, but this one is in the color nude. And I don't think it's going to work because obviously the nipples will show through. But 
you know what, we'll give it a go. I will try the cardigan on with this t-shirt, however, because I think it will pop nicely with the pink. Okay, I'm actually loving this as a cardigan as well, like just to the side, but then it will fit, which is great, but I think it will be better um, if I'm wearing something underneath it because I don't think the material is going to be all that thick. All right, I just undid the top and the bottom <laughs> button just to see what it would look like because I think that's what the Instagram models do. However, I don't think it suits me as a plus size girl. I think it's... Maybe? Uh, yeah, this part here looks silly. Maybe if I was wearing a white singlet underneath, it might work, but yeah, it's funny how some trends just don't suit fat girls. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's the truth and it's really sad, um, but I don't really care what anyone says or thinks. I'm probably just going to wear it like this because I like it. Um, I really like the fit on the arms. It's a bit longer. So I really like this. It's a thumbs up. And then I'm not even going to bother trying on the last one because we know what's going to happen. It's just going to be the same as the first one, which is nipples will see through. But I do really like it. I'll get use out of it. It's just going to need... See, because you can see me through it. Ready? Let me see if we can do this. Hello! <laughs> Um, so yeah, I don't even need to try that on to know that's going to show my nipples. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure you go down and hit the thumbs up. I love trying new brands. Please let me know if there's been any brands that you've seen or heard about that you're not sure if they ship to Australia or if it's too expensive to ship. I think I ended up getting free shipping with ISO at first because I spent 200 um, or if it was anything, I think it was like $2 express shipping or something like that. So super cheap. Um... A lot of places in the UK that are like that will do the same sort of thing. They'll um, do like quite cheap shipping if you spend enough. So yeah, let me know if you guys want to see anywhere else new. And that's it for today's video. So I'll see you next time. Bye.